HR, how are you? Good morning, DP. How you doing there, bud? I'm good. How do you sum up what happened last night? Well, you knew that uh, Verlander was going to have to go deep because the, the uh, kind of the long, the distance in the bullpen for the for the Astros is going to be tough to get through to get to the closer and even close it out. But I thought also the big key was going to be more on Los Angeles side, and, and it came down to really a couple decisions. But the one in the fifth inning with Hill. Uh, I thought he did a great job of pitching to Reddick to get the strike out, knowing the pitcher Verlander's on deck. They're not going to pinch hit for Verlander. He got out of that. And then the big move was, was Dave Roberts going to the bullpen right then. Yeah. I didn't think that he was going to go that fast to go get uh, the guy he brought in at the time. And so that was the big thing for me. Well, I, I look at tonight, and I don't know how this plays out for both of these teams, but certainly the Dodgers, who've relied on that bullpen, it's the best bullpen in baseball. But going into tonight, is there anybody who's got a decided advantage when it comes to pitching? Well, I still think the Dodgers do. And, and uh, you know, Kenley Jansen's a guy that they've used through the years uh, in more than one inning. You know, he's gone multiple innings before. I know he did it last year in the postseason. Plus, believe it or not, you have Kershaw ready to go. Um, you look on the other side, they're going to start McCullers. And McCullers, you know, I know he went six innings last time, but starters are not going deep, and that has been the challenge. And the Astros have been digging to try to find out, do they go back to Giles, who struggled to maybe close it out for them? And, you know, I think the answer is, is right in front of us, really, because most ma- both these managers have said, we trust our team. I trust my guys, and Dave Roberts going to go to his bullpen, and at the end of the day, you're going to see the same thing from A.J. Hinch. You know, Kershaw is a question mark in, in coming in in relief because it, it just feels like there's, a, there's always a little more attached to it with Kershaw. I know he pitched brilliantly to start the World Series, got roughed up the last start, but now you bring him in out of his routine in from the bullpen – how does that change? Does that matter to you at all as you're uh, watching this unfold? Well, I think he needs it. You know, I, I, I know he doesn't want to end the season the way he did. No. And if it means for him to match up for one or two hitters or maybe one or two innings, uh, I think he's seizing to get the ball. He wants the baseball. Uh, it has not been pretty. I mean, he had a 4 nothing lead. He had a 7-4 lead. He wasn't able to hold them. I don't think, you know, you want to see that in for him like that. So I think he's in the game regardless. The, the key guy tonight is going to be you, Darvish. Yeah. I mean, Darvish did not pitch well the other day, but he only threw 49 pitches. So we're going to see a stronger, better Darvish. And because of the things I'm saying right now, I really do lean towards the Dodgers. I just think their pitching is a lot more intact. Your MVP through six games is who? Well, that's a toss up. That's a tough one. Um, I thought it would be Altuve. You know, he's come up with some big hits when needed to, but at the end of the day, uh, the one player who's just shined more than anybody is Springer. He's, he's just gone off. I mean, the, throughout the first game, four strikeouts, four at-bats. After that, he has done something in every game, yeah. and uh, I think he's probably going to end up being the guy who wins it. Oh, well, if, if they win it. If they win it. Yeah. If, they, if the Dodgers win it, um, I, I, the Dodgers will be interesting to see who ends up being that guy. They haven't had one player just carry them. Uh, if, it could be Jock Peterson, believe it or not. Yeah. I mean, he's had some of the biggest hits. The ball jumps off his bat, HR. It, it, it sounds different when he hits, hits the ball. I don't know what it is, but I thought that when he first came up and he was hitting bombs, it, I don't know if you've experienced that before. There's certain guys when they hit it, it just sounds different, and he, he's one of those guys to me that it sounds different. i I, I got to give you a DP Herald funny story. Okay. So, Jock Peterson, 30-30 player in AAA, right? I'm hearing about him all off season. Yeah. Next, Ken Griffey Jr. is what everybody's telling me. <laughs> so, I covered the Dodgers in our 30, and, 30 clubs in 30 days coverage. So, I'm standing at the batting cage, and Don Mattingly is the manager at the time. And I'm like, Donnie, man, I keep hearing about this Jock Peterson. Oh, he's like, oh, Harold, you're going to love him. Kid's got power. He can range. He's a left-hander. I said, yeah, I keep hearing. He reminds me of Griffey. Where is he? He goes, he's right there. I go, where at? He goes, 
right there. He's in the cage hitting. And I go, I'm looking for a guy with an afro. I thought he was black. <laughs> <laughs> he fell out laughing. I was dead serious. I mean, Jock Peterson, come on. <laughs> Uh, I've been I've been having this discussion with the Danettes. Is Justin Verlander a Hall of Famer? I think so. I, I really do. Um, I don't see it. Uh, if he goes the distance last night, it's a Kurt Schilling comparison. Look, if we're talking about Kurt Schilling and his great postseason, he, he doesn't even have the regular season resume of this guy. You know, he's won MVPs. He's won Cy Youngs. He may have got ripped off on a couple of them. Uh, and with the generation today, how many guys are really going to win 300 games or throw the innings anymore? I think he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. But Schilling's not even a Hall of Famer. Well, I know, but everybody keeps knocking on that door. I think Verlander's way into the Hall. He I really do. He doesn't have 200 wins. I, I know that he's got some, he's got some nice awards, uh, but you know, they, they, you know, this postseason record, even though he's pitched well, I don't. It's not something that puts him over the top, in my opinion. And Schilling had that postseason and, and two remarkable runs with two different teams, three different teams. You want to throw the Phillies in there as well? Yeah, I, I just. Who would I, you I mean, rather who have? In, who would you rather have? I don't think, Schilling go ahead. or Verlander? Well, I think if you look back at Kurt Schilling in the postseason, I mean, he's one of the greats of all time, right? Yeah. So okay, and he's run away with championships. Uh, I mean, obviously that's what you want, but. I, I don't know. I just think that Verlander's the class of this generation, and it, it, his story is still not finished being written. I, I think he's with an offense again in Houston that's going to give him some runs. Uh, he, he's. I don't even think he's close to not getting in. I know a lot of people are saying he's not. I think he's in easy. I don't think we will see easy. 300 game winners. We're not going to see 5,000 strikeouts. We're, guys don't throw enough. There's not going to be the bodies of work anymore. He's that last dying breed, and I think because of that, he gets in. I'll throw another one at you. I think CC Sabathia is going to get in. Wow. Really? Hello. Wow. Hello. Check wow. out his numbers. Check out his numbers. Paulie, and Paulie pulled up, uh, or McLevin pulled up Sabathia's Hello. numbers here. All-time lefties with strikeouts and wins, and if you do what he's done, he's like third all-time. Those guys are all in Cooperstown. But would you take Pettit or Sabathia if you had to have one vote? Well, I, I think we're skewed to what we saw when we were, you know, in our, our heyday of watching certain guys. I think Andy Pettit was one of the best pitchers that everybody overlooked. But resume, resume. I think CC gets in. And Pettit, to me, better resume. Yes, Paulie. Sabathia's 10-6 and six in the postseason. He's... He's having a nice year this year, 14 and 5. Yeah, he came back, but he was kind of left for dead before this. Look at his overall, Paulie. Yeah. Look at the strikeouts. 200, 237 victories, 146 losses, 3.70 career ERA. Man. Wait, but is he better if he than. He gets the 250 wins and 3,000 strikeouts. Yeah. I think there's only two other lefties in the history, and they're all in the Hall of Fame. Is that Spawn and Carlton? But, I think so. I don't, well, I don't even know what group it is. Yeah. I mean, Koufax didn't have that number of wins. But, man, Sabathia. Eh. Hey, okay, Mike Mussina. He's got a better resume than uh, Sabathia, doesn't he? I think Mussina gets in eventually. Okay. You know, here's the problem I have with the Hall of Fame. I think it needs to be according to the generation you played in because you can't compare generations. You just can't. The game changes so much, and you have to compare guys. To me... Don Mattingly was one of the greatest in his generation. Steve Garvey was. They're just dismissed as if they didn't play. Well, I can understand what, that with Dale Murphy because Murph was one of the great hitters of his generation. And I think if, if he ended up with 400 home runs, what did he end up with, 398? And it's like Fred McGriff. Like, we like round numbers. And then Fred ends up with 400 home runs. Maybe we look at him differently. I, I don't know. Well, and the, and the other thing, though, Dan, I was like, okay, you tell Fred McGriss or, or Del Murphy or Don Mattingly, go ahead and strike out 200 times. I, I just know. want 50 homers. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, that's why I don't know if I give credit to these strikeout pitchers because they, it's easy to get strikeouts now. 
yeah, easier. Well, I, I mean, look, look at what Nolan Ryan was doing when these guys were contact hitters. You had guys who were in the lineup just to move the runner over. Like, they were just trying to get right. the bat on the ball. These guys are all going for the downs now. So, if you're not striking out, that's like Sale. I mean, if Sale stays healthy, Sale's going to strike out. You know, he'll probably get up to a magic number there in his career. True. Yeah, did you're right. We, all right. I don't know if we solved anything here. but I don't think we did, but no. that's okay. It was a good conversation. All right. We solved that Jock Peterson's not black. Oh, yeah. We got that. <laughs> did you con- – I need another source on this. Can you uh, Can you have Al Leiter confirm that for me? I will I'll okay. definitely do that. <laughs> uh, so you have the Astros tonight. I have the Dodgers tonight, right? No, I have the Dodgers oh, tonight. Okay. okay. All, right. all right. I just think the pitching is deeper. You got Dodgers too, huh? Yeah, but, you know, I, I kept saying the Dodgers' bullpen is going to be the difference. It, it, it might be the difference. So it, now, if they're going to win, it better be the difference tonight. Are we watching the greatest World Series ever? I think so. I think of our time, this is the best World Series that I've – even last night was sort of, eh, compared to all the other ones. <laughs> like two and five yeah, are two I mean, of the greatest. It, they would stand out in just about any other World Series as the best game of those World Series – and you've had two of those games so far. And you had the pitching matchup in game one. I mean, it's it's got to come down to the final inning, the final out. It just does. That would be poetic. I would love that. You know, it's been great for baseball. I mean, we've got yeah. a lot of people, a lot of eyeballs watching. It's, it's been really great for the sport. And a lot of young talent there on both of these teams, which is great. Oh, man. I, you know, it was interesting. last thing I'll throw out there is, is we were sitting there saying, 20 years from now, are we watching eight? Maybe 10 Hall of Famers play in this series. We'll see. All right, run them down. You got Seager, Bellinger, Correa, Altuve, Kershaw, Verlander. Um, Anybody else in there? Frank, uh, I'm not throwing Keiko in there. Keiko, I don't know. Nah, I mean, he'll be that, that friends guy we're talking about. He's got a Cy Young. He's already got a Hall of Fame. He may get another a Cooperstown. He, I mean, a, a Cy Young. He may get another one. I don't know. We'll see. But that's that's yeah. pretty alarming. You look back at it. That sounds like something. A topic for uh, MLB tonight. Sounds good, my man. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, doing our show. All right, that's Harold Reynolds, baseball network analyst. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.